Doctor, doctor, what's the diagnosis? It's just a quick, easy, non-invasive surgery to mount this wing, that's all. <laughs> Should be easy. <laughs> You're covered in disappointment, my guy. Chuck John and got down the bus shaver like a tan down. I hate going to the dentist. Bang, bang, and wash your waiter. Dang, a dog, and I'm down. Drinking that I got home straight into ya. Okay, so we are here and we are installing an Adro wing on Becca's M4. Now, if you guys don't know, we've had Adro carbon fiber stuff on cars in the past. And one of the craziest things about the Adro kit is the swan neck wing. And so when Becca saw the M2 wing, she lost her mind when she started to figure out that there's an M4 wing that you can also get that just got released. So it's in the box right there. We have a couple other things that we're trying to install, like the Adro front lip. We're gonna try and see if we can get to the side skirts, but the biggest goal today, because quite honestly, the side skirts have a plastic fill-ups to get like off and that is impossible right now to actually do and we only have a day to get this whole thing done so we're prioritizing the front lip the rear wing which is a swan neck wing and we're gonna bring you along for the disaster that's probably yet to come but by the way if you guys are looking for agile parts by the time this video goes live we actually have it over on the website at martiniworks.com I'm so happy that I get to say that again so let me know what you guys thoughts on the kit once it's done don't forget to subscribe. So we're pretty much done. All we needed to do was put some tape on it and then you're good. Pro tip, if you do end up putting a carbon fiber. Who are you? That's not safe. So you can just put painter's tape to mock up how it is that you want the lip or side skirt to read a fuser to go. You just put the tape here, then you use a T and that just kind of gives it the, the strength you need to make sure it all lines up, which it does. I think it looks good. Yeah, you look like a good. big boy from this angle. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Becca. This is my M4 competition. We are going to be putting my wing in today and installing all of that. Um, also drilling holes in my trunk, which is kind of scary, but I'm very excited. Um, so I'm going to start by removing the panel that's on the inside of the trunk so that we can get to the metal part of the trunk. You can see where we had uh, designed, it's actually a, a new technique from Martini Works uh, it's called the zip tie. So this is what was holding it together. And you might be saying, wow, what a, what a ridiculous, immature thing to do. We all do it. We all do it. You do it too. Yes, you do. I bet you there's at least six zip ties in that rotary. It smells like cat litter in here. Then I realized it's because of the trash bin. So I put it right where... <laughs> These screws are so bad. <laughs> I know, they suck. I got two that won't come out. What are you going to do about it? Rip them out of there. That's what she said. Wait, what? I can already hear people saying, oh my God, she's doing it wrong. No, not really. So these Phillips are plastic because BMW makes really fun, fast cars. But when it comes down to cutting uh, corners, they do it in their hardware. This is like a known thing. It's the same screws that are down here. And then these pop out, yeah. So they pop out like that, which yeah, we got everything labeled. Yeah, you gotta label things so you don't run into issues at the end. These are so dumb. Okay, hold on to them. So this is fine. There's nothing inherently wrong with the design. But the problem is the moment somebody doesn't torque them using the strength of a six month old toddler, you start running into issues. And then because they're made of plastic, that head just tears apart, which is the issue that we're having over here and the issue that we're having over there. All right. Take her easy. I'm going to take her easy. And whatever you do, don't go through the top of the bumper. We're in. And like Flynn, my guy. Give me that self tap in the mouth. <laughs> oh my God. Fiberglass <laughs> and epoxy and carbon all over you, my guy. Yes, yes. There you go. You're good. So the good news is, is that BMW said, we're gonna give you 16 little tiny plastic shitty screws. And if those don't work, we're gonna give you these really massive plastic screws, two of them, so that they hold them in place. But they're still pretty shitty, so that's where we're at. Got it, and then there you go. And then just pop this back. There's that, nothing broke. That will release things in there. So are you ready and prepared to cut big holes in your trunk? Got a safety glasses ready. Oh, no, I was talking to you. Oh, no, absolutely not. Beans are being inspected. <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, they're pretty good beans. Okay, so we're gonna open up the old wing. Just so everybody knows, we haven't actually unboxed this yet. So we have no idea if it's boxed well, it's or if it's broken, or if it's not broken. So far in one piece. Now I'm scared because it's so pretty that I don't want anything bad to happen to it. <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. I'm so excited. That's a big piece of carbon right there. Okay, let's set that off to the side and see what other... Now we have all the hardware stuff. That's the tough bit. You are covered in packaging, my guy. You're covered in disappointment, my guy. Yeah. <laughs> Look how pretty oh, sorry, it is. Oh, it's a swamp. Right, we should get that. Ooh! And so that actually, when they first did the development, it looks like it, it hung off the edge of the trunk but it doesn't. This just mounts directly into this area right here. But what do you mean by drill? What, what has to be drilled? There you go, be belly roll. Belly roll. <laughs> On a scale of one to 10, how excited are you slash nervous for cutting the trunk? Out of 10? I'm gonna do it myself, 10. Confidence You're gonna do it yourself? You yourself? Yeah. Okay. What you doing? You're just giving us an area of painter's tape to draw some sort of template out so you have an idea of where to cut, so we're not just going in blind. So the really fun part is it's like really curvy in here, so it's like getting tape in places is a little odd, but we're getting there. You're doing great. Thanks. It looks good. I hate going to the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doctor, doctor, what's the diagnosis? It's just a quick, easy, non-invasive surgery to mount this wing. That's all. <laughs> Should be easy. <laughs> this, is, this is the sure? final. This is the last. <laughs> enough room that you can just go back and kind of tap it or we can just break it through. So we'll clean it up when it's done. Okay. <laughs> just so you guys know, we I've never actually cut into a, a trunk before. Gels has once. He never cut, so this is his first time cutting. <laughs> Becca's never cut either. Um, so this is all very new to us. So when you're looking at us and you're like, oh, he could have done this, he could have done that. Yeah, we probably could have, but we don't know that yet. We need the experience to realize how to do it better next time. Gels, how we looking, baby? Yeah, we're looking good. I mean, we may have cut a little high over here. Wait, 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 wait. We only needed to cut, apparently. Yeah, so like this little- Well, what are you doing putting that there? I don't know, that's, uh, that's a great question, but uh, you know what? The valley's where the valley's supposed to be, and this is <laughs> where this is supposed to be. Might have to trim a little bit more here, just to get this to see a little better. Yeah, so it doesn't stress? Yeah, um, but other than that, that one looks pretty good. Just, uh, yeah, it looks really, really good. I don't see nothing yet. Oh. Yep, keep, keep it going. going. Keep going, keep going, baby. Yep, now okay, keep it going and then gently pull it out while yep. it's... Now go straight back, okay? Nice! <laughs> so Andrew tells us to take this out to drill it, but the problem is is that it's, it's such tight space and I like this because it acts as like a guide almost. So they recommend it, we didn't do it. We know we should have done it, but we didn't do it. It doesn't matter, honestly. I think you crushed it, great job. We did one, I did one, I can't, else okay. has to do I one. I can't even, oh, so you have to I have to like. Sideways. There you go. Woo! Not too bad, mm. right? It's good to test fit things because when you don't and you get all the way done, you usually f***ed it up. Spoiler alert, nobody's ever installed ha, a car spoiler. part. Ha. Nobody's ever installed a car part. I refuse to believe that anyone has good. ever successfully installed a car part. Look at that, nice work. I really wanted one that came to the edge of the car on each side and it comes perfectly yeah. to the edge. When you put those yeah, it's yeah. perfect. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Chit -chat, I love the way this is mounted. Chit -chat. Chit, yes, right. Grab one of the. You said this is a 10 mil, then, right? Oh. I love it. I think it's perfect. How the kids feel outside. I love it. That's how I feel inside right now. I love it. I think it's so awesome. It turned out so good. Should we do some rollers? <laughs> 